Good morning, everyone. So today we are gonna be making my favorite breakfast smoothie. So the reason I love this is because it's so good for your digestion. About eight months ago, I started having a lot of ulcerative colitis and IBS symptoms. And one of the things I learned is to give your digestive system a break first thing in the morning. So we wanna go into the day with a really easy meal. And this smoothie has so much nutrients, so many vitamins, and it's great for your gut health. So I'm gonna share with you everything that I put into the smoothie, and you can get the majority of this on Amazon or in your local grocery store. If you're new here, I'm Anna Cherie. Nice to meet you, welcome to my channel. And this is Healthy Habits, where I share all of my delicious recipes, and if there's anything that you would like to see, be sure to leave me a comment, and if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. The first thing we're gonna be starting off with is we're going to be doing about a half a cup of ice. So this is gonna be our base. And next we're going to go in with our fruit. So I like to use wild blueberries, always, always organic because, you know, the government just be spraying stuff down with pesticides. So we do organic. All right. Honestly, I just kind of eyeball everything. I've been doing this for so long, but it's about a half a cup of blueberries. Then we're gonna go in with our little tropical melody mix. Now, if you have papaya or just frozen banana, that would also be great in this smoothie. There's strawberry, banana, pineapple. Okay, so this is about as full as we want our cup. Then we're gonna also add avocado. So avocado is really good for healthy fats. We're gonna be doing a lot of protein in this smoothie, so we wanna balance it out with the fat. So we do half of an avocado. This also makes it very creamy. So I like to put a lot of ice and fruit. I like my smoothies a little more chumpy, a little more smoothie than creamy, I guess. But it's personal preference. Okay, so we got our half of avocado. Now we're going to add our water. So you wanna fill it up to about where the fruit and avocado are kind of peeking out the top. So about right there, right there's good. Okay, so this is what we're working with right now. The next thing we're gonna add is going to be our protein. So I use two different kinds of protein. The first one, this is Absorb Plus. Also, by the way, none of these are sponsored. This is what I actually use, really use every single day. This has so many vitamins on it, it's Great, so this is for rapid absorption. So if you have issues, um, let's say like IBS or ulcerative colitis or Crohn's, you have a lot of inflammation happening in your system. So the reason this is great is because it's already broken down for you. So your body doesn't have to do the extra work of breaking it down. And if you do have that inflammation, it is going to stop you from absorbing nutrients. So this protein basically makes it so your body doesn't have to do the work. So we're gonna do three scoops of this. And the serving size is four, but I'm also adding another type of protein to it. And I don't wanna overwhelm it, but it has a really good vanilla flavor. And then there's a lot of different flavors, but I personally like to get the unsweetened vanilla. This smoothie is meant to be a meal replacement. It's around four to 500 calories, and there's about 34 grams of protein in this smoothie. It's a pretty dang good well-rounded meal. So the next protein I'm going in with is gonna be the Pure Paleo uh, Chocolate Protein. And this is actually a bone broth protein, so the only thing in this is gonna be bro bone broth po <laughs> The only thing in this is gonna be bone broth protein and a little bit of stevia. And I do one scoop of this. So as you can see, we're already getting kind of full. We have two more things to add and then we're off to the blenders. So the next thing we're gonna be adding is gonna be Slippery Elm. This is the bark from the slippery elm tree. This is one of my like secret weapons. If you have IBS, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, this acts as like a gel that's going to coat your microbiome and it has healing properties in it. You could drink it straight, just like put it in a cup, mix it around, drink it down real quick. They call it slippery elm because it does get, turns into kind of like a jelly. So this is gonna be the one of the last things we add to the smoothie. And I just do a tablespoon of this. It has a little bit of a smell to it, but once you put it in the smoothie, you literally won't be able to smell it anymore. Or taste it, or even feel it. Like, it just 
dissolves right away. But Slippery Elm, if you guys have issues with your digestion, look into this. Do your research because this is like magic powder. And the very last thing we're adding, we are going to be adding some fiber because fiber is so, so important for colon health, digestion. This is gonna be my holy grail of fiber because it is very gentle. I'm using Heather's Tummy Fiber. If you have sores in your tummy and in your intestine and your colon, you want to be using a fiber to help you go to the bathroom, but it has to be very gentle. So this is my go-to. And it's odorless and flavorless. So that's even better. Cause let's be honest, if it doesn't taste good, we probably don't use it, right? I mean, unless you get to a point where you're like, I need this in my life and just don't care. Like I have. Okay, so we're going to add two and a half teaspoons of fiber. Okay, and then let's blend it up. So put this in here. Give it a little shake first, and then we're going to blend. I like to use a Hydro Flask or a Yeti cup because this does take me quite a while to drink because this is a big smoothie. And this will keep it cold and taste better for longer. Let's just pop this open. Oh, it wasn't that hard today. Mmm, smells yummy. This smoothie tastes so good. You can't taste the avocado, you can't taste the slippery elm, you can't taste the acacia fiber. It just tastes like a fruit smoothie. And it's super healthy for you, super good for you, great for your digestion. Trust me on this, you guys. It is going to really be a game changer. Even if you don't have digestive issues, this is still amazing for you to add into your diet. And if you don't like eating breakfast in the morning, what's easier than a smoothie? Well, that's a little full. It's just a little bit full. Let me drink just a little bit. I mean, I knew what it was gonna taste like. I have this all the time. I'll be doing a video in the next few weeks going over all of my supplements that I take for ulcerative colitis and how my healing journey has gone. If you give this smoothie a try, leave me a comment. Let me know how you like it. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe because every single Saturday I have a new video coming out. Okay, you guys, I will see you next week. Have a great weekend. Bye.